It's Don W6 GPS, and look what we got in the DHL yesterday, the Open Spot 3. Now, today I'm going to show you how to set up your Open Spot 3 for the Kenwood D74. This is going to be a quick setup, okay? So, the first thing I want you to do is open up everything, get the thing on charge. Here's what the Open Spot looks like right here. Nice, compact, and it's battery. It's got a battery built in. In fact, I used mine for seven hours yesterday on a, on a charge, and it worked great. Let's turn it over that way. So there you go. All right, so first, get this thing charged up. While you get it charged up, let's look at the programming software. I've got videos out there on programming your D74. So... Basically, what you're going to do is, is you're going to program a place here called, uh, I call it Open Spot Direct. Um, look at my video for programming uh, a, a, a hotspot for the DR mode. Uh, that's what I recommend. So the settings are RPT1's direct, RPT2's direct. Uh, Choose a frequency that's in the uh, AWRL band plan for hotspots. Don't don't venture off into the satellites where the satellites are. So I just picked four three three two zero. Shift is going to be off. Uh, offset's going to be zero. So once you get that and it's all in your radio, uh, once you have your radio set up, set up to where it is. Um, showing your uh, hotspot frequency that you want to use. Um, you know, the manual, open spot manual says, don't worry about RPT1 and RPT2. Uh, they're just alluding that you're gonna put a simplex frequency in a DV mode and go to town. Well, I'm just shit telling you, it's best just to go ahead and program your radio with your hotspot frequency in the DR mode so you can move things around uh, better. So, once you get your your open spot three, go ahead and power it on. You're gonna see a little flashing light there. Okay, I let that go for about 15 seconds. And the flashing lights, there's all sorts of flashing lights for this thing, but this is in the AP mode. And that means that what you're gonna do is, is you're gonna set this up by accessing your computer, your tablet. Uh, Apple computer works fine. And once it starts making that kind of uh, light, uh, then it's in the AP mode. So I'm going back to the computer now, and I'm gonna go into my, um, go into my uh, Wi-Fi connections, and you're gonna see uh, Open Spot 3. Now, the other thing is I'm using is, is I'm using my mobile hotspot for right now, mobile hotspot, or you can use your Wi-Fi network in your house. Okay, you can do this with your phone. It gets a little more complicated, so I suggest that you use uh, uh, something other than your phone to uh, set up the hotspot. That's, uh, that's another video. So I've got my wife, my mobile hotspot going, my mobile Wi-Fi, excuse me, mobile Wi-Fi going. Now back to the computer here where it says Open Spot AP. When I click on that, and by the way, I'm using the, when, when you click on that, hit connect, and the browser should open up automatically. Just going to have to wait here. So now it's, it's uh, asking you, it's giving you a welcome. So I go to next, let it uh, kind of go through its paces here. So now it's asking me for my, my Wi-Fi connection. And so here's my, um, my mobile hotspot right here, mobile hotspot, I have it going, and I hit connect. Okay, make sure that you put the password to your hotspot, uh, Wi-Fi connection hotspot. Make sure you put that in correctly. Now, when you connect it, uh, it's gonna say over here that it, it's been disconnected. 
And that's because now it's looking for your Wi-Fi connection. And so they've got some blinking lights going on here. And we see that that says it's interrupted. All right, so now what I have to do is I have to actually go to the Wi-Fi connection that my open spot's connected to. So I go connect to that. And the address bar still kept it in there. Open spot three dot local forward slash um, number sign QS. I'm going to change this to quick setup. Put my call sign in there, right there. And you got something going on here about upgrade. So it's, it's going to be doing some stuff in the background. Hit save. Now, here's what's cool about this. You have all these quick setup. When you use the quick setup mode, all these come up here. I'm just going to go over there and hit D star. Okay. So you remember my frequency that you have in the radio? Make sure you have that all set and ready to go. So mine is 43320. So I could just go in here, hit two. So my frequency's in there. But now I have a whole variety of things that I can do. I can go to the I go to the YSF reflector, I could go to DMR, I could go to Brandmeister. But for right now, all we're gonna do is go to reflector XRF. So when I that comes up, I can now choose a server. And I suggest that you just choose a reflector that is not real busy. I'm gonna choose reflector 30 alpha and my call signs in there and when I hit connect when I hit connect you hear a little beep okay now once you've got that now what you can do is you can now that you have this in the in the DR mode uh, you can go to um, a reflector and do an echo test W6 GPS echo test. W6 GPS echo test. W6 GPS echo test. Okay, so now basically we're ready to go. And we have all this information right here. And that's how simple, that's how simple it is. Now you can go in here, you have a, a status, you can go to the connectors. You can manually switch things here, or you could do your radio just like you normally do. So for me, I'm going to go up here to uh, Reflector, Link to Reflector. And there you go, very simple. Now, one thing that this did not do, uh, because I have, uh, I have some history with this computer, is there's a place where it's gonna ask you for a UID, and the UID is gonna be right here. So make sure you put the UID in there. So that's basically, that's basically it. Um, real easy. Uh, outside of the uh, UID not coming up, this was like very, 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 very simple. So here it is, the open spot three. This is a very quick video just to get you guys going. If you need anything, just give me a call, W6GPS, uh, usually on Reflector 30, or email me at W6GPS at Yahoo.com. And again... If you go here to quick mode, you've got a whole variety of things here. If you want to talk to DMR, you'll be able to, you'll be able to do that. 
If you want to talk to Yesu, you'll be able to do that. So this is just very, very simple to get you at least going on D-Star. If you go to advanced mode, you're going to get all sorts of uh, different things to check into. What I have found for right now is that the defaults work perfectly. So I guess, I guess that's it. Real easy.